Okay guys, girls, this is the start of what could be a very politically incorrect um, video. I'm about to go and pick up my brother from the airport. And yeah, I'm doing it in my XK8. I mean, how else can I pick up my brother? That would be disrespectful to pick him up in anything else like my wife's Mercedes. So, um, we're going to do all sorts of things during the course of this video. Car stuff, Lake Havasu stuff, stuff that maybe you'll find interesting, uh, probably be politically incorrect at stages, but not from my brother, because he's one of those people that doesn't do that, whereas I do. So, that is the beginning of this video. It is the 30th. It is just coming up to 4 o'clock in Arizona. He lands at 5.10. I'm going to leave now. I like to get early. I don't like to be late. Um, and I'd rather sit there for an hour waiting for him. Let's face it, if he lands at 5.10, which is the current time, I probably won't actually see him till probably 5.30, quarter to 6.00. Or, if you prefer, 17.45, which is the time that I would prefer. So, uh, I will do some video when I get to the airport. Okay, this is me, on the way. In the background, there's some music. Ignore it, otherwise I'll get shit for copywriting. Well, here we are at um, the airport. Rather disappointingly, I must admit, uh, my baby just came up with a fail-safe engine mode. Oh shit! I hope that's going to get us back home. I mean, I didn't notice it, but she seemed to be driving okay. What the fuck? Oh, guess I've overparked there, haven't I? Oh, my nose is so long. Uh, I've got a feeling people can park elsewhere. All right, uh, Phoenix Airport. Yeah, here we are. Uh, I get to claim. Carousel three. Way too early. So, uh, let's go get a coffee. Just bought myself. Meep, 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 meep. Oh, it doesn't want to do that. Hang on a second. No, it does. This little small coffee with an espresso and a little marshmallow rice crispy thingy. Eight dollars. Ouch. Okay, this is the sign that should be on my eyes. Do not enter. Just waiting for brother. He's standing there answering my text. I can see his ugly mug in the distance. Stop answering the text, dickwad. Come this way. Mark. <laughs> yeah, these are the original exhaust rings. We just had to get those off with a, an hammer and a chisel. Now we've got to clean the ends up. Hmm. Well, do you want a clamp to hold it down? No, I was wondering about that. This is the uh, old crap removed from the exhaust system. Which stuff used to function but is no longer of any use. Um, that's what's left of the mounting kit. We'll be using those two 
I won't need those, or oh, we will be using those. <coughs> Excuse me. The kit is part number BSS FK015. So, should you need the exhaust mounting kit, that's its number. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. You invite your brother over, tempt him with a beer, and then you make him work. <laughs> All of a sudden the camera flipped. What a smashing job. Now oh, we can say goodbye here to these rotten clamps. These U-bolt type, very rusty, very yucky. Uh, we'll separate the exhaust system now. Um, and then continue to clean it up, ready for installation. The noise in the background is my brother now in the bench. If I can find him, there he is, being very benchy. And there we go again. This is such fun. Okay, here we are, moving on now. Trevor's polishing his tits, up uh, tips. <laughs> you got to have polished tips. There you go, got to polish your tips. We're just getting this cleaned up. This is a lot longer than we expected it would be to do. Um, probably because the system had been used before and we're having to clean up burrs and um, original exhaust paste etc uh, oh yes yes remove the old clamps remove the old mounts uh geez what else have we had to do on this I'm trying to think now and that hurts um deburr the pipe ends because we're going to dry fit it and then once we've dry fitted it we're going to take it all apart obviously and wet fit it. Wet fit it? Yeah. I <laughs> Shut up, Eccles. Shut up, Eccles. <laughs> I'm sorry. When my brother's here, we're idiots. Oh, shit. No, we're idiots anyway. We just do it separately. <laughs> yes. But anyway, as you can see, my brother's not quite as handsome as me. And he's also not quite as fat as me. <laughs> So it, 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 it goes out. <laughs> the taller. The, taller, not so handsome, but thinner, <laughs> brother. And when we sit down. Yes, I know. Gary's the taller. <laughs> so we don't sit down a lot. <laughs> In fact, I don't even know. Height-wise now, we're probably not very far off of each other. I am now Registered at about four, five, ten and a half. Oh wow! I used to be five, eight and a half, so I'm probably down to five, six or something. <laughs> I thought, what was that joke I saw? I wish it was as everything was as easy as getting fat. Wow! <laughs> yeah, true. All right, now let's uh, move over here. We'll leave Trevor alone. He will cry, but we will leave him alone. And here we have the pipes laid, ready to be slipped in. Gosh, this is gonna be fun. So today we'll be dry fitting. We may do wet fitting, we're not sure yet. In fact, I've gotta check if I've got um, exhaust paste. Hmm. Found a couple of little anomalies that we've had to deal with, and one that we're ignoring, or at least I'm ignoring. And I'm not gonna tell you people what it is. So there. Right. Let's get on and uh, look for exhaust paste. 
move shit out of the way. Oh, spray bracket. Okay, here we are getting ready for dry fitting. Uh, as you can see, the two pipes are in, the two down pipes are in from the front. Uh, thanks to my brother. He did that. He did it all by himself. Um, just trying to look at this. Oh, we've got to sort out nuts and bolts for these now I wanted to do stainless steel these actually these will probably be grade 8 the only reason I'm saying grade 8 is because that's what I happen to have and they are plated this up here though um, that's a fine thread while grade 8 bolts are coarse thread uh, and nuts so I can't use those so I'll have to dig out some nice ones but here we are Looking pretty good. And that's, yeah, just kind of balance there. Hang on, let's balance it a bit better, shall we? Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, see where we're going to go next. I'm just going to knock that light off. Now, also do note here, there's approximately an uh, inch and a half, two inches difference there, but that is also the same on the silencers. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. And by that, I mean, do I... The dry fit... Oh, no, I can't put oil on it, can I? No, don't do that. That would be a bad idea. Also, I discovered that my paste... Exhaust, welding, grinding, fitting paste is rock hard. So we <laughs> gotta go down to AutoZone. Ah, oh, look, brother with phone in hand. Uh-oh, he's probably phoning his girlfriend. I won't let his wife yeah, see that. Oh, no. For the British Car Club of Delaware. Oh, okay. Uh, newsletter of which I am the editor. Oh, edit or. The editor. Yeah. Okay, so let me get my ass out of here so you've got room to... See, we're even making the insides of the pipes beautiful. <laughs> All right, here are here are Amis, the tailpipe. Now this is a dry fit, so don't don't scream at me, people. It will be up there, and the angle of the tail is nicely in line with the bumper. I'm not sure what this thing is here, whether this is in line or not, but it's a brother, and they're always in line. Uh, underneath, hang on, you're going, sorry, gimbally, you're not going to like this, people. All right, let's see now. If I can show problems. <laughs> oh, what's going to happen if I try and turn it? Is it going to show me? That's not easy to show. Oh, isn't that a pisser? Oh, the camera, it, the gimbal keeps turning. <laughs> yeah, gimbal reached its limit, yeah. All right, um, I'm going to have to tell you. Up, up there, <laughs> uh, the stud is through. To get the nut on it, it's going to have to put the nut on before we tighten everything. <clears throat> the joints here need to go in at least another inch and a half two inches that'll be fun uh what have we got down here these are clamps come on spin these clamps are the wrong way up my choice my fault they now need to go sideways because if i leave them like this they're going to punch holes in the gas tank or even the petrol tank um 
I'm just trying to think if there's other options. No, I don't think there is. And then if I come down here, sorry guys, you're going to get weird video for the moment. And I'm not editing it out, so bollocks. <laughs> All right, uh, hang on a second. Can I see anything up here? Will it let me? Oh, oh, stop it. No, stop it. No. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'll have to edit that bit out. <laughs> now, can I lock the gimbal? There should be a way to lock the gimbal. Yeah, it should be. I think that's it locked. Yeah, it is. No, that's not where I want it now. So I need to turn it. Now press and lock it and let's see what happens. If it lets me do it. There it is. Okay, so this is one of the manifold uh, to pipe connections. There is a kick in this pipe that sends it over to the side. And then it should all line up nicely. But my concern at the moment is, do we have enough pipe to shove it down the car? Do we have enough? No, don't spin. I didn't ask you to spin, you stupid fucking camera. <laughs> <coughs> it came off this.